and then assign them as such. Kamikaze strikes. No, my lives are precious to the point I'm not even going to send my pilots off to die. And 10x Thunderbolt says, can I have a free copy of Hearts of Iron 4? Sure you can, just not from me. Go bother somebody else. So, yeah, we're 11 days deep into fabricating an Argentina. Everybody seems to be planning fine here. Oh, everybody is ready for war. We've even got some veterans from our... Uh, from our meat shield. Which is lovely, but they exist really only to be a shield. Yeah, if I'm ever uh, dodging the mic there, it's because I need to cough and wheeze. Republican Spain finally clearing up the last of nationalist Spain. Germany... Well, they declared on Luxembourg, but they haven't quite taken it. And what is this? Seems that the British wanted to land and take Bremen. Good on them for taking Bremen, because at least they'll have a bit of local supply there, but shame on the Germans for allowing them to make it that far. With this, I wonder if the Soviet Union... They don't quite have a border with the Raj, so they're not going to be pushing into that. China continuing to push Japan off of the mainland. Japan had such an impressive... Uh, landing inside southern Japan, but not quite. Japanese diplomats in Berlin. Hmm. Might be best if nothing came of this. It remains to be seen what, if anything, comes from these negotiations. The prospect of friendship between some of the strongest military forces in each hemisphere is a cause to worry for their many enemies. Alright, seems that the Germans are trying to find an alternate route into France, since this line is managing to hold. Nationalist Spain joining, okay. Does that put you at war with them? Oh, it's all going on. Germany is just doubling down on their efforts. But this leaves me wondering. If Republican Spain can't force a capitulation out of the Nationalists soon, then that could be very bad. Right, nukes will be ours. I'd love to go to a more doctrine effort, but I've actually done it all. Equipment effort is tempting, but I'll pass on that. Uh, there are lots of tempting things here. I sincerely doubt aviation is going to be something I can even produce much of, so I'm going to ignore that. Same with the Navy. We have what we have. We've already completed everything we can do in the political effort, with exception of technology sharing. So, I guess we could well go forward with... Nah, that's a while away. Whereas factories can be used now. Oh, it pains me to see such low manpower. I need more. Jake, isn't your war going to expire in Paraguay? No. It'll be finished fabricating bef uh, after we're done with Bolivia. Or rather, after we're done fabricating on Bolivia. So how am I looking on that technology here? We're, we're going with our doctrines. I always want to keep going with the doctrines. Uh, I'd love to flesh this out more, but I think we're actually as far as we can reasonably be, with the exception of construction. But I'll be passing on that, at least for now. Jings, I would love to be going with this. It's something I really want. Reinforcement rate does sound pretty swell as well. But I also really want extra support. We have engineering, but I want recon. I really want recon. All it requires is what exactly? Not much. Not much at all. Plus it'll give us recon. Yeah, good enough. They can, uh, they can belong to the elites. Not to the meat shield, mind. But the meat shield is kind of like me banking my manpower here. Yes, they'll be useful for holding off the enemy from advancing, but as I mechanize and armor my army, I'll be taking these fellows and making them obsolete, really. I can get rid of them, regain my infantry equipment, in fact all the equipment that I gave them, which, come to think of it, is just infantry equipment. Not that it's that bad infantry equipment. And then slot them nicely into some uh, some armor. And the 
current song is very quiet, isn't it? It's called Krakow. Maybe that's why it's so soft and uh, dying-like. Right, Bolivia's going down in a little over 20 days. It's good news for me. The Nationalists could do with some good news, though. The Netherlands didn't last a chance. The noose is going, uh, tying itself around France's neck. They may have capitulated, but they still hold on to this. It's like they're in exile at the moment. Dirk Jan de Geer. Oh, what a moustache, though. Jake, infantry is never obs obsolete. Absolute. Okay, so the US have joined the Allies. This is concerning for me because I cannot afford to be fighting the US plus Allies at the moment. Well, as if I'm ready to be fighting the US, period. But it does mean that when I pick a fight with uh, Mr. Roosevelt himself, I'm going to have to be dealing with the UK's Navy. Well, actually, it works for me that the German Reich comes out strong here. I need Germany to utterly crush France, and they're even managing to push through this line that I would hate to try and uh, pronounce, which means they're also getting a huge amount of steel when they occupy it. I think France's days are numbered. Republican Spain joined the Allies? What? Okay, well they are at war with the Axis right now, but that's interesting. I guess we're going to see Germany into Iberia. Jake, are the British really going to invade Central America? They seem to be busy. That's why I'm really hoping that the Reich can manage this. But because the Republic in Spain is now at war with all of the... Uh, ooh. This could go one of two ways, really. Depends if they join in the, uh, the massive war. Italy's already involved for what little they're going to do. Well, bless them, they're managing to push through Piedmont into Savoy. Jings, this is the most tenacious I've ever seen since Maria Theresa herself. But nationalist Spain just can't hold on much longer, even with 90% um, national unity. They just need to lose a couple more cities and they are out. Much like Belgium, I think you're in trouble, France. I'm a gambling man, and I say you're going to die to the Germans. Jake, Republic in Spain doesn't seem to be at war with Germany. Yes, they have not been called in. Oh, Jinx, that's loud, isn't it? Okay, well... Hell, if it's too loud, I'm sure you'll keep me, uh, keep me posted. Olivia, it's time for you to go. I'm conquering you. I hope you don't mind. So straight away, we're just getting our elites in there. No battle plan for them. They don't deserve such things. I'm going to try and wrap my way around their capital. So we're actually eating a bit of a stacking penalty here. But we do have enemy air superiority. Well, rather, we have air superiority. I'm looking forward to this guy learning to be a mountaineer. Oh, he is a mountaineer. Well, that's good. That helps us out here. Means we break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Jinx, they did not last at all. Alright, I'm just going to tell everybody to push forward. They have good planning bonus. They'll be able to punch their way through. And this is why you are the elite. Really making my way to Laplace is all I need to do right now. So I'm going to take half of you and see if you can't make your way straight to the capital. You fellows. Jinx, this might be even, uh, even more unnecessary than I thought. We're actually fighting half decently now and they are crumbling. Now the Reich wants us to join the Axis. They have clearly been seeing how brilliant we are over in the New World. Jake, why are you gaining manpower? You do eventually gain manpower. What do we gain? Uh, 432 a month? Nice. I am not going to be joining your Axis. It is doing extremely well, 
but I want to carve out my own destiny here. Okay, their capital is not going to hold. Oh, just a sec. Sorry, but that seems there's an issue with the water, but let's not let that worry us. Like I said, we just break on through. They're, uh, they have 90% national unity, so would be tricky, but they don't seem to have any other cities. That's why I'm confident that grabbing their capital is going to be plenty for this. Dangerously close to losing a thousand men. I hate losing men by the thousands in wars, because I don't have men by the thousands to lose. Okay, that wasn't quite enough. We do need to press on and take a few more of their uh, provinces. But that I can do. Heck, that the elites can do. Break on through to the other side. Where's the challenge? That said, though, I should be fabricating further claims here. Since we'll be doing Argentina, then Paraguay, we'll have 79 days to take Argentina, after which we really should be focusing on Chile. I'll be having you. Check Santa Cruz is a city, do you need that? Oh! Uh, it's not a city, it's just where they've moved their capital to. Got a Schwerpunkt on the go. I am such a fan of constantly keeping your doctrine research going on. So all the tanks, they get better recovery rate, better organization, and same goes for my mechanized and my motorized. Jolly good. Ah, they are very close to capitulation. I just need to grab some provinces. And because they have nothing to uh, nothing to fight back with, I really can just stroll on in. Should have made a better battle plan, should have pushed all the way through the country. Well, I won't make that mistake with you, you have a lower national unity, but really all I will need to do is punch my way to your capital and you are dead meat. Marching through this land does give me uh, an uncomfortably large amount of attrition. But those Bolivians, I just need to grab another province and they're down. <laughs> Indeed, that's what we're doing, or we would be doing if they didn't get in our way. It's the whole just one more province uh, argument. I should have a clearer plan of what I'm trying to get here better for everyone or better for just you. But I do need to prep up in preparation for weapons 3. Well, I need them both, but this will be more immediately useful. Oh, shoot, what am I thinking? I've got that nuclear research to start on. It's going to take a while, but better to do it early. Didn't I finish my nuclear research? Hmm... Oh, it was reduced ahead of time penalty. What I need are secret weapons to actually get the research bonus on it. Okay, we'll change a plan there. I'll be going for secret weapons, so in 70 days I'll do that. That allows me to... Aye, we'll keep going with this then. Jake, this is ridiculously easy. Have you guys not noticed it during your thousands of hours of playtesting from numerous complaints on the forums by fans? Well, it's easy because I'm damn good. Would be a very cocky way of putting it. But, we'll let you be the judge of that when you have the game to play. There we go, secret weapons for us. And 
There we go. Just in time for our justification to be done. Let's take it all. And then, yes, Paraguay, I have to go. Lots of free equipment for us as well, so that's what I'm talking about. So, you need to go down, you have very little army to speak of, and checking out supply here. Supply is good enough. Also managed to take an airfield, so I want everybody moving over there. In fact, everybody, and I mean everybody, should go there. I even have some close air support. That's wonderful, that, I, that might potentially help with things. So, what of you folks? Just shift the battle plan, take them over, and really this is a job for just the uh, just the elites. But I can have everyone helping out. Jake, will they make more portraits so that all South American leaders are not identical twins? We can only hope. I was deploying everyone here, right? Ah, go figure. Merge together our fighters, so we have all of them, and we're going to be fighting in South America here. I want air superiority, close air support, just to make things that bit less painful for my men. It is slow going around here because I have not... Uh, not been helping my guys out at all with anything. Still at a loss for support equipment, I'd love to change that, but we have plenty of motorized. So I need to think what I want to do with my motorized division. They're going to need hospitals. They're going to... Hold on, this is motorized. Forget that. I should be looking at my armored divisions here. I already gave them maintenance and field hospital. Won't be giving them support artillery because, hey, I don't have that. But if I were to start training these, how many do I need? Okay, do I just have more tanks than I thought? Ugh. Click the right button, Jake. Still expensive on the everything, but I might as well get training now. Jake, I'm from Chile. Do what you must. Well, you could always surrender peacefully. Jake, does this game have important but random aspects to it? For example, mana in EU4. There is nothing on that level of random here. Holy smokes, these guys just don't know the meaning of giving up. It could be because they still have some land overseas. But really, that should be the end of Republican Spain once their new capital falls over in Karuna. It's only worth three victory points, we'll see how that goes. I France is dissolving in the face of the German menace. But the UK did manage to grab a little foothold in Bremen. Let's see how that works out for them. And then there are the Soviets, so... Unless they and Japan end up butting heads. Hmm. Italy holding on to what it has for the most part in Italy. Yeah, the most part, he says. Jake, what about boosting party in Mexico and inviting them to your faction instead of conquering them? What are you, some kind of Mexican sympathizer? I don't need your type here. Right, I'm not liking how long it's taking me to get into position for invading these guys. I don't have this war goal forever, and I'm very soon going to be ready to jump on Argentina. So, I hate to fight without my planning bonus, but I may just have to. You guys are still moving in. You folks are almost in position. I'm too impatient. Just go for it. Operation destroy them. Oh, we've got our engineers as well, which is just wonderful. So what am I going to do with my engineers? I am going to lament my lack of support equipment, because boy do I need that. I'm just not producing enough of it. That needs to change. I think I need it more than I need weapons at the moment, so let's just throw them over there. I'm also lacking the steel that I require. But that's when we hop over to America and say, oh, my good friends in America. Let's have a look. When it comes to steel, I need 15 more, but just 8 more should suffice. 
We even have a surplus of tungsten. How did that happen? Did I grab some tungsten here and just not realize it? The answer is yes, I have all the tungsten I could possibly need here. So we pop back to our friends in America and say, actually, nah, we don't need your tungsten anymore. That's wonderful. Loads of tungsten. Making it pretty much worth my time to limit my exports, but there's a problem with that. I need to fight an enemy that actually has a reasonable number of factories. Argentina might be that person, but I would love to limit my exports a touch. It'll uh, slow down my research, but that's alright. Speaking of research, I'm going to need military police eventually, but I don't think now is the time. Supply usage, yeah, that would also be really good, but I'm a here and now kind of guy, and I here and now need some improved equipment. But I also really want this. I want all of this. <laughs> it's, it's tricky when you have so little and you want everything. Still never researched any artillery. But that's where our tanks come in. Mm. And I would love some mechanized as well. No, it's high time we got a bit more research speed on the go, even, that's, even though that's going to chew up a lot of time. Jake, if you expand too aggressively, will the US stop? giving you so many goodies. Well, they're not giving it to me, since I am trading my factories for them. They could always stop that. But I doubt they will, because this is, this is America we're talking about. I did have you guys... Yeah, you're helping me out. I want to see just how much you're helping me out here. We have air superiority. Sadly, we also have a stacking penalty here. I wonder if that closed air support is even uh, helping us out much here. Well, who can tell? Troops from the Empire of Japan have captured the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. Huh. Well, you go, but you have plenty of other problems. That of China. And the British Raj has a very good opinion of China. How does that work? Keen to see Germany just mow down France, but now they're at war with the Republican Spain as well. Well, they are part of the Allies, go figure they would be called in, which means Nationalist Spain, yeah. Jenks, this is harsh. Not even sure who's going to come out on top, but I know that the Republicans are going to be destroyed from this massive war. So, although they're going to have plenty of experience, they probably chewed through a lot of their equipment there. When the Germans manage to break France, they're going to find a very chewy Iberia to land in afterwards. This is not my most glorious of wars here, far from it. But I do just want to break on through. And we will, it'll just take a touch of time. The war goal we have on Argentina is good until June, so let's just break on through. Even with that defense, they don't stand a ghost of a chance. Could you check the infrastructure in Brazil, Jake? Sure. Looking pretty low. Zero, two, 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 three, and five over in the coastline. I considerably better along the coast. And then we have the capital to worry about. Brazil's going to have to go, but we'll take care of them once we've taken care of Chile, Argentina, and Uruguay. Okay, now this is where they're going to make their stand, no doubt. But I just need to cross the river in one location and I'm good. Well, we're pretty good already here. Like the others, they've pulled out everything they can. They've got service by requirement and a partial mobilization, hoping to stop my flow, but it'll be too little and it'll be much too late. Really, I could just have the elites do this, whilst I have my non-elites, the meat shields. I could just cancel their plan, really, and... Hmm. See if anything, I have too many operating on this. So what if I get you guys and just delete your plan? 
to be sure you are the purple ones. So let's get rid of that. And instead, have you make a front against Argentina. So we can prepare for that. How are we going to work this offensive line, though? Hmm. Really, I just want you to be a push. So just push your way down. We'll see how well that works out. It might not work at all, but the whole idea is to push properly with the elites. We're probably going to have a hard time because, yeah, Argentina, they've got a big enough army to repel me reasonably well. What I want are my tanks to be ready for that. But there's a bit of a slowdown in producing said tanks. A bit of a slowdown in producing a number of things. We need more support equipment and more tanks. We're slowly getting better at producing tanks. We still only produce four a day. We're going to need a hundred days to fulfill that need. Thirteen hundred and fifty-two people, Jake. Oh, the sellout strat is working, or so it seems. One might ponder if this number is correlated to the amount of Dosh Patreon. Eh, uh, I wouldn't draw a correlation with this in Patreon. Because I do this regardless of that. Just because it's a new game going on. Alright, the Danes. Let's see if they last longer than four hours. Mm, France certainly isn't holding on very well here. Yeah, German Reich is going to declare war crazy. And the Italians are being unable to hold this extremely easy to hold front. Come on, anybody running face first through those mountains without considering better alternatives is just... Ah... <sighs> Well, what can I say? I've done my fair share of throwing my face against mountains, but still. Right, nuclear. Uh, the age of the bomb is upon us. Equipment effort is tempting, so is motorization. And I would love extra armor research, so let's go down that route. Okay, we broke through. If we just go full circle on their capital, they're going to die. That said, I don't want them reinforcing, so keep them uh, in their place as well. This could well be a rough one, actually. The timings on my war declarations are going to be tough. Since I only have until the 21st of June to declare war in Argentina, I think I underestimated our, uh, our friends over in Paraguay, since they're working on holding out pretty well. Well, France sure didn't last long. With the fall of Paris, they have capitulated. And now the Germans have free reign over Iberia. The big blue blob is no more. The Reich army seems unstoppable. Well, I seem fairly stoppable here. I'm quite saddened by this. I need to get myself into position or else it's bad times. What about the Falkland Islands, Jake? Uh, what about them? They're not Argentinas. You know, maybe I should stop having my people just trying to run across this, uh... Second Armstice, what is this? Vichy France. An armistice between the German Reich and the French Third Republic has been signed at Copienne. In the very railway carriage in which the German surrender in World War I was negotiated. Under the terms of the armistice, a French government under Marshal Pétain, based out of Vichy, will continue to administer most of southern France while the rest of the country falls under a German occupation zone. Some French officers have vowed to continue resistance from abroad, but this puts the effective end to the fighting in France, at least for the time being. Well, welcome Vichy France, part of the Axis. You're fascist, you're very fascist, in fact, and you'll be joining the fight. Incredible. Jake, check your manpower. What manpower? That left a while ago. Okay, that is disturbing. What is also disturbing is that if I don't declare war in the next few days, I'm going to lose my claim on Argentina and have to refabricate. Uh, I don't really like this. There's a lot to not like about this. I'd hate to delay my plan 